Hey guys, Redstone here, and today I'm going to talk about the Obsidian 3D printer. Uh, uh, I hope this is not a fail. So, it's coming out on Kickstarter very soon. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to be in Utah uh, when it comes out. So, I might not be able to back it in like five days, which means I might not receive my unit. Um, if a Kickstarter goes live, back it immediately if you want to. Because if you're one of the first backers, you're almost for sure to get a unit. Um, like a top 100. But after that, it's uncertain. Um, it's pretty much, pretty much guaranteed if you're top 50 or top 100. Uh, because even the iBox Nano, even the Tico, even the, um, even the Buccaneer, dude. That, that, that printer delivered about 150 units. Tico, about, like, what? 1,500? Something around there. Or 4,000. It's kind of a weird number. I think it's around 4,000, actually, that they delivered. Which, considering that they took two years to do that, that's not impressive. But, um... And they also had, like, $2.9 million that they spent. All, oh, like... <laughs> dude, I'm not even getting started. But let's talk about the specs of this printer. So, it's basically the same print size of the Trinus. And what I found was... It looks like a bigger machine. And they aim it to compete with the Ultimaker 2 Go. This is very interesting. Because they're saying it prints better than the Ultimaker 2 Go. Well, I just did a video of the Trinus versus... And if this thing prints as good as the Trinus, you know how satisfied I'm going to be. Now, let's talk about the backer levels. So, for $50, you're going to get the base unit. Nothing. All you can do is connect to your computer, have it tethered the whole time. Um, you know, that's an issue. Uh, but for $50, I was just thinking about getting a $50 one and like a full spec'd out unit. I don't know if you can do that, but the early bird's $50. I think there's only like 50 available, 100 available. Um, now, if you want the same unit, it's $100 retail, which is really, really cheap still. That is getting to the territory of an inject printer. And you can use any filament you want. This product is super exciting for a couple of reasons. This will be a milestone in 3D printing. The 101 Hero was a milestone. This is going to be even a bigger milestone. Because for $100, you're getting a printer that prints as well as an Ultimaker 2 Go that they say. I mean, I saw some of the prints off of that thing. It's really good. Um... The issue with it is a small bill volume, and you have to pay more for more few features. I think that's what K Kodama does. Um, I don't know why they do that, but pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so for full spec out units, about $250. That's still really cheap, and I'm telling you this right now. I don't see how this printer can succeed. Um, that's why I said back it early. Uh, I just don't see it. I know it's a company that has made a printer, but I don't get how they're making money off of this printer. And I don't get how they're going to make a business out of it. Like the Trinus, you know, everything delivered. Everything was perfect. Yeah, there was a couple delays here and there, but that's completely normal. It's kind of like saying being on a plane, there's turbulence. Of course, it's going to be turbulence, dude. It's completely normal. But... I'm really bad about I'm about my analogies. I'm sorry about that. But um yeah. Let's talk about the specs. So it has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. That's about what? That's like 4.5 like by 4.5 by 4.5 or it might be 5 by 5 by 5. Either way it's going to be small. And that's good and bad. You could take it around places you know you can do all of that stuff and it's actually pretty cool um now i don't know exactly but um yeah i don't know uh the printer looks pretty awesome i think it looks actually really cool and what will this full spec out unit get you um it will get you a touch screen it will give you a heated bed it will give you um Pretty much those are the normal features. And a touchscreen and a heated bed might be worth it th to some people. I don't mind having a heated bed. I don't need one. I've proven with the Ultimaker, you don't need a heated bed. Especially for such a small little 
build line. You're not going to be printing ABS on that thing. It's an open frame. You're going to have splitting. I've even had splitting on my DaVinci's, and those are pretty much enclosed. So, you have to think about that. It's pretty much a PLA-only machine. You could probably do, like, PET if you have a heated bed option. But I don't do PET. I just do PLA because PLA is easy to work with. Great colors. You know, very easy to work with. Yeah, it melts, but it melts in like a hundred degree temperatures. I live in California. It never gets that hot there. Here, I'm telling you, the hottest I've ever seen over here is about 98 degrees. So, it's not really that big of an issue for me. Now, if you're living in like Arizona or something, of course it's going to be an issue. You should print an ABS if you live in Arizona. My sister's Barbie car kind of melted. But, um, <laughs> funny story. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry I'm getting sidetracked. I don't, I don't know. I've had, like, a weird day today. So, 120 by 120 by 120. Um, what other features? I don't think it has a, a metal enclosure. I don't think it has metal. Uh, I'm 99% sure it doesn't. But, I mean... It looks really cool. I like the black. Um, I mean, it's obsidian. Of course, it's going to be black. Um, but, yeah. I mean, it looks like a very solid printer. But don't back it if it already has about 2,000, 3,000 backers. Because you're most likely not going to receive a unit. Um, you're pretty much going to have to... I think this is going to turn into like a really hyped up product. And it should be. I think it's going to have over like 3 million backers. Not, oh no, not 3 million backers. <laughs> that would be like, what? $20 million? But, um, I'm not talking too much yet. Uh, but I meant $3 million. I think it's going to be as pretty much high as a Kickstarter you can get. Or it could be the most popular Kickstarter ever. I could see that. Because it's a very polished machine from a repeatable company. So, just... Just back one early if you want one. Um, you're most likely going to receive one. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my tips. Uh, remember, Kickstarter is not a pre-order. It's your donation to the company. Um, I 100% understand that. And that's why I back. Because I want to make sure that I can support these companies. I'm not re really want to. Um, but, yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if we can get... One like on this video. I will have two videos up tomorrow. Bye.